Hello, my beautiful Cancerians! Welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies. This is for the second week in the month of February. Happy Love Week! Either you are celebrate, either you don't. Know that you matter and you are loved. As well, manifest big. We have a new moon in Aquarius on the 9th, which really, really strongly is put your thoughts in order, the things you want to, and go. It's kind of ready, set, go energy. But let's see, how's your week? How the energies are there for you and what else we need to know? Always, always, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, and Venus, general energies. We have a hermit underneath. There's something here you are... Um, it's kind of taking my time to see. I take my time to see clearly something. It's not like something here you you see go and do it's like you gotta analyze it in details queen of swords seven of wands the emperor the two of cups and the queen of pentacles and the devil With the Seven of uh, Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, it's kind of like, doesn't need to take you longer or long to understand what you need to do. Let's see what this is about, because this devil indeed doesn't help us here. We have Four of Cups, Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups and the Temperance. I feel here you, you're going to find a solution here for whatever you are looking for, what you are looking. Either you're looking a solution regards your job or your love life. Because something here with this Four of um, Cups is kind of going to change. Mm-hmm, yes. I see a lot of ego, a lot of pride between you and someone. It's like who's stronger, who is sturdier or who is bigger. It's like you, you are around someone. But you clearly know this is, yeah. Looks like a game, but it's definitely not a game. Because somebody here seems like they, they are saying the truth. They, they seem like they will work, but doesn't. And you know, it's kind of going in circles with whoever you are dealing or whatever it is. What's the Ten of Cups here? Six of Swords. Yeah, some of you will realize that to be happy and your life to start moving forward is just to move yourself forward. Because waiting for this person or waiting someone to do something or to change something is it's quite pointless. Yeah. It's like you go in circles here with someone. You try to figure out, but it seems here that there's no way. The only seven missing here is the seven of swords. And the Seven of Swords really speaks of don't avoid the real answer or the real answer is in you. 
and you know it very very well seven of sword seven of uh, pentacles six of pentacles you definitely hoped something here to to get in a better situation but doesn't feel like because someone here it's keeping in a lie situation or someone here doesn't really care if that's getting better or does not the seven of wands here the devil the nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles and the death for some reason i'm feeling here that many many of you cancerians you gotta think for yourself not feel for yourself queen of swords is more likely you to stand up for yourself and create a new life and get out from this devilish energy or somebody here can be controlled or somebody here cannot be be as they used to or how you want it to be or how they they were before because somebody here changed a lot and so you are too as well okay with the temperance here world yeah it's kind of you are gonna find the peace when you are either move away from this energy either you are if you needed closure from someone or you needed to to do something or someone to do don't look for that if you really want a new beginning or you want a peace in your life it's kind of do you or go by yourself or move on by yourself mm -hmm. yeah king of wands it's like from the queen of swords to the king of wands if you want your life to move forward you gotta move forward you gotta take action and don't expect from the other queen of pentacles here let's clarify this to queens but for some of you you might deal here with someone earthly or very very hard to move forward for others of you this is a situation at work that you try to improve or is a situation with your boss when you realize that you gotta be your own boss because you'll never ever see that something here will gonna change so there's something here about you gotta do you but if you are dealing here with someone in particular let's see queen of pentacles knight of pentacles as i said somebody here it's it's kind of on their own and queen of swords lovers some of you cancerians you might have gemini in the chart where you are gemini cusp cancerian ten of wands six of wands yeah choosing to end some some kind of connection it's it's gonna suit you much better than staying in it's kind of you are gonna be more successful on your own than around this person who is pretty slow or very slow in their journey it's like somebody here is way way behind you don't wait for them to catch up they may not catch up ever when you could be a thousand mile away and they will still kind of so it's kind of like your frequency and their frequency it's very different and justice is here some of you yeah you might made a choice to to move forward with your life even though 
you will try to to fix something you you have I see at 13 years for some of you you could be here with someone 13 years one three but it's more likely only the three years were good the other 10 might not and could be you are more focused on certain you know things like you are more independent or you love to be independent this person is not or they don't want to and I found quite you know interesting because some people they don't want to deal you know with others they want to work on their self or by themselves other people on the contrary they don't want to deal with you know dealing doing orders and stuff they rather to be told something to do and get their money and go back home. That's it. And that's the difference between you two. You are more mental, they are more practical. You are air energy is much faster than the earth. So you are very opposites here. Very, very opposites. It's kind of either you both are alphas, either not. It's, it's kind of like um, a very, a very fine line that you can work or not. And as I said, for some of you, this is a job situation. You could try to work for someone and you, you just can't work for anyone. You just need to work for yourself. What advice we have for you, darlings? King of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Eight of Wands. I feel here there will be a talk or a conversation. And based on that conversation, you will know what you got to do. The thing is, what I'm seeing here, the conversation might not go very, very well or very clear the way you want, but you will know the answer based on their reactions or based on, let's say, for example, you ask them what you want to do next and they will tell you, I don't know, or what you think you want to do here and there and they will say, I don't know. I'll take my time and things like that. So you definitely will get your answers to make your final decision. Because I feel here this is a final decision for some of you. And it seems here this might be also for some of you a karmic cycle that will end for you based on this decision whatever that decision is but it seems here that you are giving yourself a new life or you are more inclined to go towards something new than stay where you are we have ace of swords cups wands and pentacles so it seems here some of you you are gonna get um or give yourself a new chance towards a new life it's kind of somebody here is not willing to to work on some kind of balance neither want to it's it's kind of a stubborn energy and i feel here you will get the answers very very clear from this person could be even indirectly indirect messages but will be clear because I'm, I'm hearing crystal clear what to do next wow so cancerians hugs and take care of you i'll see you loves bye for now